Welcome back viewers to Pacific Business Brokers video blog. My name is Amanda Rial and today we'll try to understand better the meaning of goodwill. What drives it and its effect on the sale and purchase of a business? Goodwill can have multiple meanings and interpretations and hence important for a business owner to understand. The International Business Brokers Association defines goodwill as those elements of a business that can cause customers to return in sufficient volume to generate profit in excess of a reasonable return on other assets, and also that intangible asset that arises as a result of name, reputation, customer patronage, location, product, and similar factors that have not been separately identified and or valued, but which generate economic benefit. The International Valuation Standards define goodwill as future economic benefits arising from assets that are not capable of being individually identified or separately recognized. From an accounting perspective, it is the value of an entity over and above the value of its assets. In the sale or acquisition of a business, goodwill is the difference between the sale or purchase price of a business and the value of its tangible assets. In essence, and for simplicity's sake, however, we can probably all understand that goodwill is an intangible asset. Looking at it from a business value perspective, there are two types of goodwill, personal goodwill and commercial goodwill. Personal goodwill is defined by the International Valuation Standards as the value of profit over and above market expectations which would be extinguished upon the sale of the business together with those factors related to the current operator. Personal goodwill would be where those intangible assets that we said arise as the result of name, reputation, customer patronage, location, product, and similar factors are mostly as a result of and in the business owner's head. Such goodwill is difficult to transfer and thus has little value. While on the other hand, if again those intangible assets we talked about that arise as a result of name, reputation, etc., are as a result of systems and processes, employees and other transferable resources, now we have commercial goodwill and of far greater recognizable value. We could talk at great length about goodwill, how it is calculated or determined, the difference between goodwill and blue sky, what is negative goodwill, and much more, but in the little time we have here, I'd like to focus on what you can do to convert your existing personal goodwill, where there is little value, to commercial goodwill, where here, you maximize the value of your business. So here are a few things you can do to increase the commercial goodwill and hence your business value. Create systems and processes for the business to include procedure manuals that describe the functions of each department, employee, and you, the business owner. This will remove the risk to a potential purchaser by not having to rely on all the information existing only in your head. Lower risk to the purchaser simply translates to a higher price being paid for the business. Begin to empower your employees so that the business is run by them rather than you. I know this is harder said than done, but doing so will add an incredible portion to the goodwill factor. The less important you are to the generation of earnings of the business, the greater the goodwill of the business and ultimately the higher the value. You can engage in process such as cross-training so that the business is less reliant on any one individual and again adds to that commercial goodwill less customer concentration, and more effort where the customers are doing business with your company because of its inherent reputation, rather than your personal relationship or your involvement, service, or presence, will substantially add to the commercial goodwill. Commercial goodwill is transferable goodwill and refers to that which is sellable, in other words, must be transferable to a third party, and which will provide the investor, purchaser, with future economic benefits measured in terms of earnings. Since commercial goodwill is transferable, it will also likely mean that the training and transition requirement when transferring the business will be less onerous, and so will the likelihood of potential earnout requirements. Further, as the economic benefit supporting the calculation of commercial goodwill is transferable to third parties, commercial goodwill is a valid consideration in the determination of one's business value. So, 
If you currently own a business, what type of goodwill does the business have? Personal or commercial? Join us again on another educational episode from Pacific Business Brokers. I'm Amanda Rialt.